Hi friends, let us discuss about three interrelated topics from ecology and environment. They are ghost net, ghost fishing and olive ridley turtles. Ghost net actually is causing devastating impact in the marine ecosystem and biodiversity in recent time and it is an immediate after effect of commercial fishing, especially destructive fishing practices. Ghost net actually is a lost, discarded or abandoned commercial fishing net which actually they are dropping in the sea. So it will float in the sea water causing damage to the marine ecosystem and marine life. Every year ghost net is causing the death of millions of marine organisms like shark, whale, ray, bony fish and turtles, many other sea organisms which will get entangled into it or it will cause the smothering of coral reef, live coral reef which is actually uh, the most diverse ecosystems in under sea. So all these things are done by the ghost net. So ghost net is typically an abandoned net by the, uh, it's, which is an after effect of commercial fishing activity. So ghost net is actually posing a threat of ghost fishing. Ghost fishing means the impact of a ghost net which is lost at a point is not at that particular point itself. Rather, along with ocean currents, it will be taken to different parts of different oceans. In, during its passage, it will entangle marine animals and these marine animals, small fishes, will actually act as a bait for bigger predators to get in and the bigger predators will get entangled into this net in turn. Once it, it will become, the weight of this net is increased, it will settle at the sea bottom where small organisms at the sea bottom will eat on this particular animals which is entangled and died in the net. Once the weight is lost after the death of these already entangled and dead organisms, it will come up again and this cycle continues. This process is called ghost fishing and this can have an impact on many marine organisms. And why we are specifically targeting olive redly turtles is because even though olive ridley turtles are actually one of the most abundant sea turtle fish species which is available right now, they are an endangered species. And their endangered character is attributed to the fact that they are actually seen in very a few means a small number of habitats of their own. And habitat loss or even the increase in temperature, you know, if there is higher temperature, the, ha has the hatched olive turtle, the young ones of the olive turtle, uh, turtles is actually will be female, which means there will be a tampered sex ratio, a skewed sex ratio in favor of like female olive redly turtles, which will affect the ecological balance of that particular organism. And it is actually a critical link species in marine organisms, which protects the marine ecosystems like coral reef. So here, even in one of its habitats where we can see olive ridley turtles right now, if that habitat is lost, that can have an impact in endangering or even the extinction of that particular turtle species. So that is very important. So ghost net actually is creating huge problem for the olive ridley turtles because of its shape. It will get easily entangled in the ghost net and it is died in, the, in, in this passage. So a lot of reasons are there for this ghost net and its formation uh, most important being climatic changes destructive fishing practices unscientific fishing practices like trawling so all these things are causing uh, like the result of causing the formation of ghost net in, uh, in the sea and that is creating problems for the entire sea ecosystem thank you